I'm Mike Stanton for Build America Mutual. It's Climate Week in New York, and in addition to taking place virtually due to the COVID pandemic, it's happening at a moment when we are seeing stark evidence of the impact of extreme weather, from wildfires in the western United States to strong hurricanes along the Gulf Coast. We took the opportunity to talk with market experts about how the municipal market is responding, from assessing the long-term risks to the opportunity to invest in new environmentally sound infrastructure, as well as the role the municipal green bond market can play in helping to drive capital to necessary projects. Dan Workman is the portfolio manager of the new Franklin Municipal Green Bond Fund, and he discussed the role municipal investors can play in helping to drive different decision making at the issuer level. For issuers, a lot of them are already thinking about the climate. They're thinking about um, they're thinking about the environment, and they're doing um, they're doing a lot. They're on the front lines of of a lot of the climate change um, fight, and they're they're taking up these issues already. I think it becomes a question of focus at a certain point. Does does an issuer want to focus its bond issue? on a green project or a green program? And do they want to issue bonds in support of those projects or programs? Um, we think it's really important um, as, a, as a messaging mechanism for issuers to use green bonds, even if there may not be a, a direct identifiable financial benefit, we think it sends a great message to constituents. We think it sends a great message to investors. And it gives it gives investors a chance to go out and and find those investments that that align with their values. So, I, I think that I think these pro, pro, projects and programs are going to happen. They are happening. Having them issued as, as green bonds is important, and I think we're going to see more green bonds just to help everyone focus. Right? They're going to help investors focus, issuers focus, and bring more attention to these issues that are are huge challenges for everyone. Tom Doe is the president and co-founder of Municipal Market Analytics and always a forward thinker about emerging risks in the market. He discussed the new tools available to issuers to quantify their exposures and report to the market about what they are doing to address them. I think what's exciting about the issuers is that I think they're in a position to take, take a, uh, use the data in a positive way. Um, so I don't think it's enough just to create a negative screen to say someone, uh, an issuer is at particular climate risk, whether it's an inland flood or whether it's coastal or whether it's a wildfire risk, as we've seen in the West, uh, but is to identify, use the data to help in the, the essentially the urban planning or the, the planning process around how to sustain communities, both um, in their current form, but also as you, as there's the inevitable migration of your of the tax base away from an area and how you plan to protect those uh, those people that remain behind and so how do you plan infrastructure uh, social needs all these types of, of factors that are important just to humanity um, I think that's where the issuers are in a particular um, or a particular uh, uh, advantage I would say like to use the data in a constructive and positive way um, I think investors will use it also in, in that way to construct a more positive um, uh, portfolio or, you know, I say a green portfolio or co comply with their ESG mandates. But I'm more excited actually right now with the issuers are, are focusing in, on, the, uh, on the issue and are uh, uh, putting the data together in order to do more uh, futuristic planning. BAM's experience with climate issues in the muni market spans both assessing and managing risks in our $70 billion insured portfolio, as well as providing third-party verifications of green bonds through the BAM Green Star Assessment Program. BAM Chief Risk Officer Laura Levenstein discussed upcoming changes to the program to make it accessible to all BAM member issuers. We thought the two-year milestone was a good opportunity to take a look back at the standards and to also let's look at our process and procedures to try to make Green Star even more pervasive and more effective than it is today. So a couple of key changes um, that we're trying to undertake right now that really, I think, just strengthen the program um, and make it more universally available to our members. Uh, one is that um, rather than relying on the issuer to do reporting, um, we're doing that ourselves. We've effectively been doing that for the last two years anyway. Um, and by doing it ourselves and 
taking our best efforts to do that without uh, relying on submissions from the issuer, I think we can make sure that it's more comprehensive and more consistent. And we can strengthen the monitoring and reporting so that there is consistency across the scope, across the pool of green stars that we have designated. Um, it also does alleviate the burden for the issuers, which has been a concern for some municipal issuers. We are making Green Star available to all of our members for any issues that they issue, so it doesn't have to be insured. So we're broadening the availability of Green Star as a service to our members, which uh, we think will be helpful because we do have a number of large uh, members who we've insured bonds for in the secondary market who do issue large green bonds um, that will help with liquidity in the market if they have designations. So we think the Green Star will help with that. Um, and then I think the only other thing is we're trying to make it clear what the durability of the Green Star. Many of the projects that we assign Green Stars to are complete, so there's not um, really any possibility that the Green Star would be remote, removed. But by doing the reporting ourselves and the monitoring ourselves, we can make sure that we're consistent in terms of monitoring use of proceeds. There are built into municipal issues a number of protections against misuse of proceeds, so the likelihood of that occurring would be very, very slim. But by doing the monitoring ourselves, we can make sure that it's done effectively, but also that we don't mistakenly think the proceeds have mis been misused, because it would be a re very remote likelihood for that to occur. So I think we're making it clear that the durability of the Green Star is quite, is quite strong. Thanks for watching. We hope these discussions have put additional context into your investment thinking during this climate week. The full versions for all of these interviews will be available on BAM's website and on our LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook social media channels. We hope to see you all in person at next year's Climate Week. BAM is helping its member cities, towns, and school districts build a sustainable future. BAM Green Star Bonds finance projects that protect and restore the environment. That means more renewable energy, efficient transportation in buildings, and clean water. Investors know BAM Green Star Bonds are financially secure and make critical infrastructure more affordable. We do this for the same reason you do, building America sustainably. BAM, the feeling is mutual.